Now this, this second part of the video is intended to explain how to draw this in Alex. Because we can draw it on paper rather simply, but to draw it in Alex there's a bunch of buttons that you're going to have to click on. So I'm just going to draw another graph down here and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, we know that this one is open dot and this one is solid dot from the previous video, right? And all other points I said were regular points is the words I used. And those are indicated by little X's inside Alex. So you use the open dot button to plot an open dot. You use a solid dot button to plot a solid dot. And all the regular dots, you're going to use a regular, the pencil. When you click on the pencil icon and you mark a point, it'll just put a little X there for you. Okay. So if I plot all of these points using um, 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We'll leave it like that. Okay, so if I go to two and negative one, I've got to use an open dot. So let's say I use the open dot to plot that point in the computer. Then I'm going to go to one and one and do a regular point. Then I'm going to go to zero and three and do a regular point. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to plot these. Now, I do know that this needs to go into an arrow in that direction, right? That's what the arrow meant. So it's going in this direction. Okay, but we'll talk about how to do that in Alex in just a second. But now I'm going to go to this table and plot these points. So 2 and negative 1, which happens to be the same spot, so the solid dot will fill the hole. 3 and 0, so marks a regular point there. And then 4 and 1, and it marks a regular point there. Now it does have to go forever in that direction, so eventually I want to have an arrow over here, right? But in order for me to get those lines with the arrows, you're going to have to use the ray button. It looks like this. It looks like an X and then the line. But when you do this, you have to mark the end point first. If you don't mark the end point first, it will plot the line in the wrong direction. So for instance, if I want to draw this line, here that I know is supposed to go upward, I would have to select this point, select that button, then select this point first, and then the last one next. When I do that, it will draw the line for me with the arrow, or it might not even have an arrow, but it goes forever in that direction. If you make a mistake and you click this button first and then this button, it's going to draw the line going in this direction, and there won't be anything over here. It'll just be this and then the line going forever downward, okay? And that's not what we're supposed to have because we're supposed to start at the end and then keep going in that direction. The same thing for this one. You select the ray button and then you click on the end point. End points will always be your open and solid dots, okay? So click on those open or solid dots first and then click on the last point there and it should draw that ray for you. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that you understood how to work um, the graphing functionality inside Alex. So you do have to use these symbols to do the open and close dots and then the pencil to plot all the regular dots.